What up to my true leaves? I am Lee Wantalia, also known as Lady or Truly, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new, and hey to my viewers if you are true. Today, I'm going to be walking y'all through my shower and skincare routine. But first, we got to head to YouTube and cut on the gym so I can get up, make up my bed, and then we can get this day started. I cannot <laughs> clean my room or do anything without lighting a candle. So the candle that I'm lighting right now is Champagne Toast from Bath and Body Works. You guys, if you checked out my last video, then you know that I definitely caught the sale over the weekend. And I hope you did too. Um, My room is a vibe, y'all. To me, it's just so cozy, so comfy. It's very feminine, but it has a little um dark femininity into it as well. And I really love that because it just exudes my personality right now. I have links down below to pretty much whatever I mentioned in this video. My LTK even has my bed and some of my bedding on it. I have pretty much links to whatever you want to find out <laughs> down in the description box. So with that being said, I just threw my bed together because I was honestly finna get back in it, y'all. We are about to get into this skincare hunty. So let's head over to the bathroom and we're going to light a candle in there too to set the mood. And I'm going to be burning mahogany coconut, which is one of my absolute faves from Bath and Body Works. So yeah, make sure you check it out. So first things first, you guys, I got introduced to shower steamers last year and I cannot take a shower without them. When I say it relaxes you, it just makes you feel like you're in a spa um, while you're at home in the shower. So I highly recommend you can find these on my Amazon storefront. Y'all, I don't shower without these shower steamers now. The lavender scent is my favorite and it's just so calming. So I'm going to set my water temperature and we're going to get on in. So today I'm going to be washing my hair as well as doing some skincare. So first things first, I was a part of the Go Infinity um, program and I was using their hair products. And y'all, these hair infinity products, I cannot lie, they are really good. So I'm using the Coil and Curly for my hair. I'm using the shampoo and conditioner. And I know a lot of y'all say my hair grows very fast, but to me, it doesn't. However, Ever since I cut my hair off, I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of maintaining it. Sometimes I just wish like I could get more haircuts than I be getting. But girl, I be having to put my wigs on. So we make sure we keep it moisturized and we keep our hair washed and cleansed while we are wearing our wigs. Okay, so I rinse the shampoo off. I did wash it twice and you can see on the second leather it got a little deeper. And so now I'm going to condition and I like to let my conditioner sit in my hair while I wash up. So I comb this all through and now I'm going to start with my first body wash, which is the natrium, the salicylic acid one. Y'all, y'all know my tongue heavy. Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. But this one, if you suffer from like those bumps on the back of your arm or, you know, like your skin feeling kind of rough, get you one of those little sponges and use this. And I swear to you, this will change your life, y'all. This makes my skin so soft. I love it. The next one is this exfoliating body butter, basically by Dove. And this is one of my, it's a body polish. It's one of my favorite faves y'all this exfoliating body polish is going to have your skin glowing and feeling so super luxurious i put this everywhere but the private part okay y'all it smells good it feels good and you definitely feel the exfoliating um exponents of it working so i highly recommend this Yes, like add this into your routine. As you can see, I'm all over the body with it. <laughs> so we're going to rinse that off. And when I rinse that, I'm going to rinse the conditioner. So now we're going to get into the actual body wash, which is the pampering scent by Dove. It's one of my faves, y'all. I love using a body wash last to just 
leave that lasting scent for when I get out of the shower. And I'm going to wash my whole body with this and then I'm going to rinse off really good. And like I said, I rinsed the conditioner off before this. So the conditioner is already out of my hair. And I almost forgot to mention that I always like scrub my feet and I like to use this little thing. I think I got this from TJ Maxx or something. So you can get them anywhere. Don't mind my toenails, y'all, because I ain't had time for like self-care, self-care. This is the only self-care I've had time for and it's taking a shower. So now we are into the skin. Let's get into it. The steam from the shower pretty much opened up my pores, so I don't have to use a steamer right now. And I got these new products that I'm about to try. I actually did a haul of these over on my other video, so make sure y'all check it out. But I'm using the La Roche um, cleanser, the facial cleanser, and baby, when I say it lathers so well, I absolutely love the way this made my face feel. I cannot wait to see the results I get from starting this new routine. After I cleanse, I'm going to rinse my face and I rinse it well. And then um, you want to leave your face a little bit damp is what I heard on TikTok. Okay, when I start to apply these products and the first thing we're going to go in with is our toner but i like to use um a white rag on my face y'all it just lets me see if i actually got dirt left on my face or skin because y'all know i wear a lot of wigs so you got to make sure you like cleansing your face for real so that's why i'm using a white rag and then i'm gonna show y'all ain't no dirt left on my skin so going in with this toner that i got from ulta is by the brand good molecules um it's just a brightening toner and i'm using these little pads that i got from target don't recommend these get the ones from amazon because 10 out of 10 better than the ones from target in my opinion because the ones from target was ripping up and i also like the ones with the little exfoliate stuff on the back but this didn't have it so anyways i'm putting that toner all over my face and my neck and you know what you do to your face you do to your neck and you can also do to your back of your hands as well the next thing is the um, Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm just going to apply this. And then in between everything, I give it about a minute or 30 seconds to a minute to let it kind of soak up before I apply the next thing, if that makes sense. Shake the bottles well, and then you go on. The next step, which I'm excited about, okay, it is going to be the Discoloration Correcting Serum. I've heard such great things about this by the Good Molecules brand. So I'm excited to see what this does. I could say I love to see that the serum was kind of thick. I like to feel my products, y'all. And I definitely felt this on my skin. I felt this soak into my skin. And this is me just reading the back to make sure I'm doing this all in the correct way and just like make sure I'm following directions, if that makes sense. I like to make sure I follow directions. But I'm applying this all to my face and to my neck as well. And yeah, we're about to get into the next step of this routine. So once I do that, I kind of, like I said, give it a little break. And I forgot to put on my lip scrub. This is just some lip scrub that I got from TJ Maxx, honey. It was cheap. It didn't really do what it was supposed to do. I'm going to have to get a better one. So if you got any lip scrub recommendations, leave it in the comments for your girl. Because I'm on a shopping spree right now to get myself to a better me. But anyways... This is my favorite part right here, okay? My favorite part is the snail mucin. I've heard so much good things about this snail mucin. And look, it's real snail stuff. I thought that was so cool. I know some people, they um couldn't get behind the fact that they was putting like something from a snail on their face. But baby, honey, I'm witty. Let me get to it. So... I rub this on my face and you can already see like how it just brightens. This is the product that the girls were saying was giving them the glass skin. So this whole routine supposed to be glass skin. So we're going to see going into 2024 because I'm going to keep consistent with it. Okay. So now that I've done all that, I'm making sure I get my decollete area. I feel good. I don't have a moisturizer. I've been using my emu oil from TLC. Y'all, the emu oil, <laughs> I, look, 
Everybody will sleep on that emu oil, emu oil and TLC, but I use this as a moisturizer and that's how I locked in all of my products. And all I have to do after this is to apply my SPF. SPF is important and yes, it's important for our black skin beauties as well. This one is by Black Girl Skin or, or it's called Black Girl Sunscreen. Basically, it's the SPF 45 and it's the gel consistency one. I love that one. So that's the one I keep using. This hair growth oil is the Blessed by B hair growth oil. If you guys know B, you can go um, order it. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere on her page, but I've been using that oil. And then this is just Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. That's the product that I use um, on my hair to kind of lock in my curls and just really give me a natural look. So, yeah, y'all, this is pretty much my routine. This is what I do on my shower days, on my hair wash days. I'm really excited about this new skincare, so I'm going to be sure to keep y'all updated. Let me know what other videos you want to see because um, I was actually getting ready to get back in the bed. So, do we call this a nighttime routine? I wouldn't necessarily call it my nighttime routine because I still had to rewash my face and do things to get ready for bed. But anyways, this is what I was doing to get ready to go pray because <laughs> I was just for to really go um, right in my prayer journal and just winding down for the night. So after I get through like coiling my hair up and kind of trying to get a little presentable, um, I wipe off the excess and then I just kind of let that soak into my hair and I'm good. Now I'm ready to go do my body part, okay? I look in the mirror, make sure everything looks presentable. I love my hair. I feel like I've been doing really well, so I'm happy about it. I lay out my nightgown, and then I forgot to mention my lip mask by Lineage. It's one of my faves. I'm going to put my underwear on, and then this is just a coconut body lotion from Bath & Body Works. I apply my Madagascar oil with it, and then I moisturize my skin. So, yeah. Alright babies, now that I'm out of the shower, um, I forgot to apply my lip mask, which is the Lineage um, Lip Sleeping Mask. I absolutely love this stuff. It's like my favorite. So now I'm just um, applying my body lotion and my oil. And I like to mix the oil with the body lotion because it just, one, it smells good, but two, it makes my skin feel super, super moisturized and just hydrated. So, I really like that feel. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. That's what I do. That's my shower routine. Um, the face, the skincare, I just started today. So, it's my first day doing this. Um, I did do a lot of research on TikTok about it. I've always had a pretty in-depth skincare routine, but it wasn't including all of these products. So I'm really excited to see what this does for my skin. Leave me a comment down below if you guys want me to do an update um, to follow up with this. But, oh, that smells so good. And I didn't put my fragrance on for bedtime you guys know the scent that i usually wear to bed is either the hypnos by um lancome or crystal noir by um versace um but tonight i might just put on some body oil from amazon let me show it to you it's this Arabian um, body oil. I'm probably just going to put this on to go to bed. You can find this on my Amazon storefront. It's a very subtle, sweet smell. And I really like it. So, it's going to be my scent for tonight. On top of my um, body oil and lotion, I smell really good. So, yeah um it's about to be it's 5 15. i'm on my three-day fast so it's almost six o'clock and i can eat and i'm probably just going to have me some salmon and broccoli and rice and then i'm gonna call it a night i'm gonna um do an insert in my prayer journal and then your girl gonna call it a night this smells so good y'all super sexy super feminine and ready for bed 
so yeah that's my skincare um slash shower routine i hope you guys enjoyed all of the content i hope you guys have been enjoying slay simber so far make sure y'all leave me a big thumbs up turn on your post notifications and you know leave me a comment down below of what you want to see next and till next time <laughs> bye y'all Get away.